Welcome to Flutter Teacher. So far we have seen row widget and the column widget. While creating UI in Flutter, it's very common to have a combination of row and column. So in this specific video, we'll understand how we can combine row widget inside a column or you can say the column widget inside a row. So without wasting time, let's get started. For understanding the combination of row and column, we'll create this specific UI. In this UI, the first component that we see is actually a column that contains a container with an icon and we have the text below it. The next component that we have is also a column that contains a container containing an icon and the text below it. And both these columns are actually placed inside the row. So just imagine that the red box that I'm placing here is actually a row and both these column 1 and column 2 are actually the children of this specific row. Initially, I will create this basic UI and at the end, I will explain how we can create the same UI by using the custom component. We have simple Flutter application code written that contains import with the material.dart. Then we have the main function which is calling the run app and inside it, I'm passing the object of my app. My app is basically constructed by using the stateless widget and inside this my app class, I'm retaining the material app and as a home of this one, we have a scaffold. Inside this scaffold, let me use the property called body. For the body, I will use a container here. Inside this container, what I'm going to do, I need a padding at the top. So let me use here padding for age insets. So I will use here only and I will specify the top. Let me use uh, the 100 pixel from the top. And as it is the constant, so I can prefer this one using const here. For this container, we need a child. And as I explained you at the beginning, this specific child has to be a row in case of my UI. And this contains two different child. Let me use the first one and the second one. We format the code a little bit. So number one and number two. Now this first thing that is we have here. So this is basically a column here. Let me use here column. Inside this column, we have two different child. So let me use a children property and let me use the first children and the second children of this container. For this column, the first child needs to be a container. So let me use your container widget. Inside this, we need a width. So let's take the width of 50 pixel. I need the same height. So let me use here the height of again the 50 pixel. Let me use child property. And as a child, we need to apply the icon. So let me use the icon. Inside this, we need to write icons dot. And the icon that I want to use is basically file upload. So let me use here file upload outline. And for this, we have to apply some color. So let me use here green color. So we can write here colors dot green. And let me save this one. Let me format it. Now this container needs some background color and there has to be circular shape. For this, we need to use the decoration property. So let me use the decoration. And as a decoration, I'm using here box decoration. Inside this box decoration, let me apply some color. So I will use here colors.green. And in order to have a, the lighter shade, I will use the function called with opacity. And I will apply the opacity of 0.25. Let me save it. And you can see we have got this specific color as a background color. Now in order to change the shape that is to make it circular, we have to use shape property. And for this, we use the box shape here. So let me use the box shape or circle. When I save it, you can see we have got this nice rounded container containing the specific icon. Below this container, we need a text. So I will use the second child as a text here. Let me use your text and I will write here, let's say file upload. We must add comma here. Now there has to be some gap between the container and the text. For this, what I will do, I will use the option called size box here. Let me use a size box and I will use height. So let me apply the height of 8 pixel. Let me save it and you can see we have got the nice gap between them. So let me use const here. We have got this column as the child of this row. So we need the same column as the second child of this row. For this, let me copy this column. So let me copy up to this column and we need to add a comma after this column and let me paste it as a second child. So let me paste it and save it. This column has to be aligned properly. For this, we have to use property called main axis alignment in the row. So let me use here property called main axis alignment. For this, I will use the value called main axis alignment dot space around. UI is looking perfectly fine and I will update the second column later on. Now let me explain how we can create this component by creating a custom widget. For this, we need to create this column as a custom widget. Let's click on this column and we have this bulb. 
click on the bulb we have the option called extract widget click on this extract widget option now this will ask you the name of widget that we are going to extract or let's say we are going to create i will name this as let's say the file option so let's use the file option then hit the enter button now you can see we have got a custom widget called file option let me just scroll down a little bit you can see we have got another class which is actually created by using the stateless widget now the widget that we have created called file option is not a customizable so let me customize it for this we need to add some variables here so let me add a variable and i will make this variable as final this is because we have the stateless widget here so let me use here final string and i will name this as a text that will get and let's again use final it has to be icon data so let me use the icon data let's use your icon data option finally let me use again final and i will name this as set color so let's use a variable name as color all these three fields must be initialized in the constructor so let me click on this constructor we have option called quick fix and just click on the option called add final field we got all these final fields now this field needs to be required for this what i will do i will use the annotation called required here so let me use here required let me copy this one paste it here and paste it here as well let me format the code now what i will do instead of using this specific icon i will use here let's say the icon data let me add a comma here now don't apply the green color here because it's a custom widget so let me use here the color that we have used that is the color will color variable here and now don't use this green dot shade with opacity instead of this what we'll do here we'll use say color dot opacity whatever color that we have here now don't use this file upload instead what we'll do we have to pass the text that we have accepted in the constructor now this is showing error here the reason for error is inside this specific component that is inside this file option three parameters are compulsory so let me pass all them one by one first of all let me pass the text so the text has to be let's say the file upload so let's write here file upload second thing we need to pass the icon data so i'll write here icons dot the icon is basically file upload so let me use here file upload outline then we need to pass a color here so let's pass the color so i will pass here colors dot green save it now it's perfectly fine and let me delete the second column because i'm not going to use this column instead i will use the custom widget let me save it now you can see we have only one component here let me copy this line here and let me paste it here because this is the custom component we have created save this one let me change this file upload to say file download so we need to write here file download let's save this change this file upload to file download so let me use your file underscore download option so let's use your file download we need to use a download outline so let's find the download outline and we need to change the color so this color has to be orange in my case let me put the extra comma here and we need to format the code we can also write the const here because both these are the constant let's format the code save it and finally we have got this nice ui by using the combination of row and the column and i hope you guys might have understood how i have constructed this custom component or let's say the custom widget here so if you don't understood how i have customized this custom widget or the custom component here don't worry in our upcoming session i will explain in detail how we can create a custom component and the custom widget as per our requirement that's it for this video see you guys in the next video if you really like the way i am explaining the concept then don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos